This episode is brought to you by Frames Magazine. Now, it turns out recently we photographers need to take heed of a warning that is spreading around the internet. And it has come to a head with the revelation about Samsung and their space capable phones. How's it, how's it? Recently on Reddit, there was a post by a user who had sort of pretty conclusive proof that Samsung and their space capable phones, which were able to create highly detailed pictures of the moon, were using AI to embellish those images, to make them look a little bit more detailed, a little bit more sharp than they actually were. Now, this should serve as a stark warning to all of us that if one company is willing to do this, then it is more than likely that we are going to see more and more of this. Now, it's one thing I would imagine if Samsung went, do you know what? We use the power of AI to, to make your pictures look better. Okay, I'd be down with that. I know what's going on. But what happens when camera companies start embedding AI into the software, the processing you know, gubbins? that spits out an image after you've pressed the shutter. How far are, are companies willing to go to make the unsuspecting public, the unsuspecting beginner photographer think that they are better than they actually are? This is not a new concept within photography. You know, you've been around long enough, you see enough <laughs> camera adverts saying that this is vision redefined and this is this and this is that and everything promises to make you a better photographer yeah I died the same thing growing up oh, I've got the a1 I've got a Canon so I must be a better photographer than say somebody who has uh you know some some no-name brand kind of thing right because I'm using professional equipment so I must produce professional images so, you know, camera companies, they, they tap into this idea that, you know, people want to buy gear because it makes them feel that they're getting some sort of assistance. And in many regards, that could be true. This is certainly not a gear doesn't matter video. I've somewhat changed my mind on, on that start. I, I think obviously gear does matter. It doesn't matter quite as much as I think a lot of people would have you believe, but it does matter. If you want to take a picture of the moon, and it's going to be shop. You need a proper tripod. You need a decent lens. You need a camera that's capable of doing these things. So gear in that regard does matter. The, the people like Samsung, and if, they, if this proves to be completely true, are saying, well, you know, you don't need this. All you need to do is buy our phone because do you know what? It's awesome. And they're not telling us that it's awesome because they are manipulating the image without our awareness. This should set off alarm bells in our head. That photography is on the verge of changing, or imaging, I think we should probably more accurately say, is on the verge of changing. Now, I don't believe that AI is going to put everybody out of business. I don't you know, I believe that for a second. I think it will fundamentally change a lot of the landscape. But ultimately, what, I, what does matter is what you think. Now, if you are pressing a button without much thought, or it doesn't matter what equipment you have, you're going to get rubbishy pictures back. But imagine in 10 years' time, 15 years' time, that in addition to those digit-type processes and things, all those technical terms that camera companies you know, build into their software to process the actual image that you see on the screen, that they start including, ah, oh, do you know the Ansel Adams AI or the, you know, the Richard Avedon, <laughs> you know, you could buy a type of photographer and plug them into your camera and just create stuff. That's going to be something that future photographers, I think, need to be fundamentally aware of. And we, I say we, I mean, people who, you know, I've been in photography for about 30 odd years, need to, to consider that, you know, how do we help the people who are getting started realize that, you know what, to take actual photographs, to take things, you need to have at least a, 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 
an understanding of what you see around you and what you want to create. If you go up to Mid Journey or Dali or any of those sort of things and, and put in garbage, make picture of fancy thing, you're gonna get garbage out. It requires a bit of finesse and it requires some sort of visual skill, the ability to think and imagine. So that's why I think, you know, AI is not quite really just gonna destroy everything in one go because you still need to have the ability to think visually. The ability that we as photographers have to see a scene, to imagine it, if we can do that, much like the painters and things, then we can use AI to help us out. I'd be interested to see what you all think about this in the comments. No doubt it will, it will open up some heated discussion here. It's often been said that you, know, you believe things that are in print. And when I read the stories, through Frames Magazine, that we, you know, I look at them and I, I get to hear about the photographer and stuff, then I know that obviously their images are not AI made or they everyone just concocted because those photographers share their background, they share the interests, they share the stories about how they see the world. And that is a fantastic thing. So if you are interested in, in hearing about photographers, discuss the joy of photography, then check out Frames Magazine. There's a link in the description box below. Pretty much the entire lifespan of photography, it has been suggested that it's dying. <laughs> that people are like, well, this is the end of photography as we know it. The advent of color and the advent of digital and you know, Photoshop and all these kind of things. The things that we take for granted today have at one point or another her been heralded as the death knell or something that is cheapening photography. I've always found that idea interesting that people are like oh you know this this is bad this is bad oh i don't like this idea and i do suffer from it myself occasionally i was very reticent about digital to begin with and then i t until i realized that do you know what actually I, I was never really good in the black and white dark room in the wet dark room and so i could go into photoshop and go oh this is pretty cool because now i can actually express myself in a way that i wanted to to make things as my vision saw them and if we look at this current hoo-ha about AI, just why is, why? I, I, I keep jumping to rhetorical questions, but I think, you know, there's, there's a subset of, of people, and this goes throughout all things, it's not just photography, who, re, you know, they push against technology. They are what would maybe be called the, the levelers you know, back in those days, those guys who, who broke down all the, 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 the machines, they were taking their jobs and stuff. And now they had a, probably a valid concern because they, their livelihoods depended on that sewing machine or, you know, the, the, you know, the cloth weaving so they would go around and, and break them all down. But for most of the people who, you know, enjoy photography, it is a hobby. It is something that they, you know, that, that we enjoy just taking pictures and AI can be a useful tool in that just as much as all the focus has been useful of, of, you know, the ability to manipulate images in Photoshop and Lightroom. These are all useful tools. It's up to us as photographers to find ways that we can embrace AI and the possibilities that it has for us into our own work, into a way that is useful for us. Right, without just sitting there with our fingers in our ears going, nah, 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 I don't want to know about it. There's a wonderful line from Frank Zappa that says, something to the effect of, it's not dead, it just smells funny. If you want to find out why photography keeps smelling funny, then check out this video over here. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I will see you again soon.